Good morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We're really looking forward to the next few days in the gold trade, because if gold holds above 1500 going to this treacherous weekend and everything, we think uh, that the sky's the limit gold-wise. We expect that our $1,700 uh, level will be met. As you know, we've been predicting $1,700 for gold by Labor Day for some time. And I just want to remind you that uh, some major Wall Street companies uh, have already call, called for $5,000 gold by 2013. Okay, So that tells you what people think is the likelihood of us solving our financial problems. I also want to remind you that it looks more and more likely that our uh, debt limit issue in the United States is going to go all the way uh, to the last minute. And that will encourage further uh, upward movement in gold, as well as other uh, activities that, it, that provide safety in a troubled world. Uh, lastly, uh, we're going to turn to something important out of the U.S. Congress. Uh, and I'm not like many uh, confidential guys. I believe people in Congress are very hardworking and doing their best. Um, w one of the things that has happened is that there has been extensive legislation filed both in the House and in the Senate to dramatically change the mining permitting process in the United States. Presently, it takes about 10 years to get a mine through permitting. Now, those of us on the business side know you really can't wait 10 years to do something, uh, but that's the way it is in the United States. We desperately need to have within our borders the capacity to mine stuff. And I'm not. I'm a deep into corporate sustainability and corporate responsibility, but I believe we need to get within our own borders some more supplies of stuff. Now you know I'm always talking about rare earths, but you know think of the strategic value of having some of more discoveries of our own stuff in the energy field. Uh, think of the strategic value of having our own rare earths. Uh, think of the strategic value of being able to meet our own substantial needs inside our country. And I want to remind you about something that I spoke of last week that nobody called me about. The Saudis are looking at building nuclear reactors. What does that tell you about the future of oil? This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a super day.